friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out here in the garage and do a little review on this <clears throat> daisy here that uh, I have on loan to the channel for a little bit of time. Maybe I'll see if I can talk the guy out of it. It's a pretty cool gun. Maybe uh, I'm sure he's really not interested in actually shooting it or using it. So, but uh, this one is a Daisy model 1894, and this was part of their what they call the Spitten Image collection. And they had several uh, pistols and rifles that they made over the years and this was actually the first model that came out and best I can tell this one was probably made in the early 70s let's see here it's got a registration number of it starts with L8 so probably 1978 I'm guessing <clears throat> not early 70s but uh, in the 70s but uh, these are pretty cool. Um, this one wasn't functioning almost at all when I first got it. And when I I ordered a new pump cup set from uh, a guy online uh, on eBay. And uh, <clears throat> when I took this thing apart, well, I took it apart. It wasn't functioning at all when I first got it. Took it apart. The abutment seal was moving back and forth with the, with the plunger. And so it wouldn't make any pressure. So I put the abutment seal back in and got it staked in and it made a little bit of pressure but it was just barely enough that the BB would go about halfway across the garage and hit the floor so uh, it was really about when I when I got the new plunger in the new plunger was probably at least a millimeter bigger in diameter than the one that was in here so I think that might have been uh, an improper seal that was in there I didn't couldn't really tell that it was you know loose or anything in there but it was definitely so the new one went in there and it was pretty snug and it was actually not shooting very well when I first started with it but after the first handful of shots it started actually putting them out with a little bit of force this thing is never going to be a powerhouse um, it has a tiny tiny little spring in there compared to like a, a Red Rider or a Model 25 uh, the pump action Model 25 so uh, I, I'm not sure. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it. Maybe you can upgrade these or, or not. But I did do some crony testing on it. I probably got that when I before I did the crony testing, I probably got 40 or 50 shots now on it, and it's running around 180 uh, feet per second. I'll throw that right up here now. Um, it may break in a little bit more, and get me close to 200. I don't know. I think we're probably getting pretty close to being broken in already but uh <clears throat> maybe another 50 or so shots and it'll be uh, broken in all the way and we'll see how it does but these are pretty cool just uh the the way that they're laid out and everything it has a uh, little loading gate right here that's actually where you put your bb's in and i don't think I can, but there's actually a tube up in the front here you push that down just a little bit and you can drop your bb's in there I already have some in there, but I'll show you a couple. So you push this loading gate down, and then you uh, just drop a BB in there, and it goes down inside the tube. And uh, then once you have that done, there's this little lever over here, and you pull that forward, and it actually loads like 12 BBs into the Now you see how far forward that is. That'll go all the way up to just about touching here. And that is how many BBs I have in that little reservoir now. But there's also some in the in the tube. There's the, the tube and then there's that reservoir there. So this will hold probably 40 or 50 BBs, I think. And then this one will hold like 12. So you can cock it and shoot 12 times before you gotta pull that thing forward again and load it the next round of them but so you cock it just like you do in a red rider and close it now the thing that's different is that doesn't cock the hand uh, doesn't set the trigger you have to actually cock this hammer back and that hammer going forward is what's actually going to trip the <clears throat> trip the plunger going forward so have some cans uh, set up across the garage 
a Daisy's uh, favorite target, right? But it's hit, it's hitting good enough to to plink with. Um, not enough to penetrate a can, but so I guess I'm not going to be doing any can cutting with this guy. At least not until uh, we can get the. Uh, Oop. I always forget you got to cock this thing. I think that one actually penetrated the can. It sounded like the, the BB was inside of it when it hit the ground. Yeah, it, may, it might be picking up. Or maybe they're just going through them holes in the cans already. These cans are... Cans have been down the, through the war, but see I, I'm there now. I'm about about halfway down or so, a little over halfway down. Pretty darn accurate for just a little uh, weak BB gun. Shooting the uh, Hornaday Black Diamonds. Just what I had on hand. I've got a big can of Daisy BBs too. I could try in there, but I don't think that would make too much of a difference as far as speed or anything goes. I think that might have been the last one in that. Nope. This is definitely going to be a dead shot, I think. Yep. So now you take this the lever here, you gotta tip it so the BBs will follow that, that little lever down. Well I didn't have as didn't have as many in there as I thought I did, but I got a few more in there now. I really like to try to get those cans off there. They're they're mocking me. Uh, oh <laughs> well that's one way to do it. All right, we're getting somewhere now. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh, a lot of BBs. So anyway, there you go. There's my review of the Daisy model 1894. Uh, this one was made, I believe, in 1978. So it's a pretty cool old survivor. Um, I got it up and running. I had to buy the uh, the seal kit for it. Um, I the, believe they do take a special seal kit. Um, the one that I bought, the guy, it was, oh, I threw the card away. Uh, it's probably right here. Yeah, here it is. I got it. So this was uh, on eBay from... Uh, See Cowboy Paw Paw Collectibles, Paw Paws Collectibles, and uh, found that on eBay. And he was the only one who listed a, a seal kit for a 1894, and it really seems to be working good. If anybody has any in information as far as maybe an upgraded spring, um, I'm not sure I would really want to stick a you know, Cobalt 327 in there, but maybe even just a regular Red Rider spring would uh, maybe beef that, that power up just a little bit. But I really don't want to blow the internals apart on it too, so um, I'm not sure if that's uh, a feasible thing to do. So if you think that's uh, something that would be uh, advisable, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we can get this thing shooting up. I can do some can cutting with it then. Uh, I'd really like to play around with that. That'd be um, that's something that Shane Bruce over there at Resto Mod Daisy likes to do. You hang it, you hang a beverage can up, and you put 50, 50 rounds in there, and you try to uh, cut the can in half with up no more than those fifty BBs. So, but uh, anyway, there you go. I'll keep you guys any longer. But there's my well, it's not mine, not mine yet anyway. Maybe I'll offer a guy some money for it. it was broken so 
wasn't worth nothing to him when he brought it in and let me play with it but Daisy model 1894 a lot of fun pretty easy to work on you use the same spring compression tool that you use for a Red Rider or one of those type of guns and uh, you can get the uh, the little spring catch out of there but hope you liked the video if you did like share and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell you'll be notified when I do post up new videos till next time have a great day